Oh boy, the arcade. Time to play some good old Rampage with my friends. I think that last match got a little bit heated. Oh, somebody stop. It's time we throw everything we can at these things and get people the hell out of that city. You know there are other ways of dealing with people, right? I do know that, yeah, but that's no fun. <laughs> Hello there everybody, it's me, the Canadian Movie Buff, with a review of Rampage. No, this is not another entry in the Yoibo movie series, but rather it's based off the video game of the same name. What happens is that there's this company that funds a space operation to test genetic acceleration on animals. Something goes horribly wrong, and the cases containing them crash land on Earth, turning a wolf, a crocodile, and a gorilla named George into giant monsters. This movie is being hailed for finally breaking the video game movie curse. But come on, the game is about giant animals wrecking havoc on cities. It's not that hard to translate to film. Saying that this game broke the video game curse is like saying that there's been a cure found for the common cold. It's uh, really not that impressive. The movie really does have a solid beginning, I'll give it that. What happened was that Dwayne Johnson's character saved George when his family was killed by poachers, and so he brought him back and raised him and they sort of have that bond between them. Suddenly, science experiments fall from the sky and George becomes infected, he can't control his aggression and Dwayne Johnson is the only person that he can really trust. It does a good job sort of making us care about the human characters, even if the rest of the movie doesn't really flesh them out. Speaking of human characters, Jeffrey Dean Morgan brings that swagger that he has in his comic book roles. I guess you could consider that typecasting, but in the context of this movie, it works to its advantage. The action scenes are pretty cool too. You get these big wide shots that let you see all the carnage in its glory. The scene where George smacks the crocodile upside the head with a crane, or the flying wolf jumping out of the building. It's just as awesome in the theater as you saw it in the trailer. The villains of this movie are brother-sister duo who are these tycoons of a big corporation. The brother is a bubbling idiot, and the sister is a money-hungry, heartless maniac. And if that sounds stereotypical and cartoony, it's because they are. Now to their credit, I have seen worse performances, but when we meet them, you can't help but go, so, these are the villains of the movie. Great. Also, for a movie called Rampage, there didn't seem to be a whole lot of rampaging going on. Outside of the final battle in Chicago, the monsters really didn't do anything. It's kind of like Godzilla, where they sort of cut away before the monsters actually get to do anything cool. But the difference is, Godzilla kept you interested in what was going on outside of the fights. Rampage, on the other hand, posed a cliche-ridden story of their backsides and hopes for the best. That's the movie's biggest issue. It did very little to keep you interested outside of anything other than the monster fights. Much like the villains, it's not the worst, but it's just so overused that it's become stale. If I were to base Rampage off of video game accuracy, I'd say we're looking at a solid 9 out of 10. But honestly, the games were nothing more than simple button mashing. I mean, sure, as a kid, those games were really fun. But looking at gameplay footage of it online, it's really repetitive and boring. Kind of like the sequel that this movie may end up getting. It's a good time killer, but I would not recommend plopping down money to watch it. I'd say just wait for it to go on Netflix. Alright, that's my review of Rampage. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Leave your answer by commenting down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you're new here. And as always, this is the Canadian Movie Buff saying I hope you had a fantastic weekend at the movies. See ya!